guys, this is Jet's chest, and uh, immediately I have to say sorry, I haven't been back on recording and making videos for a while. I have been playing occasionally, uh, just didn't fail to recording, it's been um, crazy times, um, but yeah, so let's catch up, like what happened, um, so... We started way over there, was the top of my head, that's where was the spawn. We traveled across this valley, across this um, lake or river, whichever that is. And I started to settle up on top of this hill, like a flower biome hill. And since then, I did progress quite a while. So today, this episode is going to be like just about showing off what I have made since I haven't been recording. So straight away, I'll just gear up. Do um, my map as well? And this. Yeah, so... We're gonna start showing these bunnies! Hi! I don't know why they keep setting up only on this hill. There's a torch, there's a crafting table. And that's my base. Trying to settle in all... Um, of course, with the help from Joy2522. And that's what she's done, all that farming. Uh, uh, redstone bit was a bit of mine. And uh, but it's all hers that you see right there behind those glass, the white uh, glass blocks. Those are the automatic wool farm from sheep. Um, so let's start on. So first of all, yeah, this is all in survival, mostly single player. Uh, or just local uh, local friends that can join. So this portal used to be there for a while and then I dig out to build this tree farm. As you can see this is all under the hoppers, so whatever falls it just carries away into one storage. I'll have to move this portal out of here, of this place, but that's a job for another day. And uh, yeah. Having all these trees, just getting an axe, chop, 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 leaves, saplings, apples, whatever falls from them, just ends up on the stream. If it's from these trees, whatever falls here ends up being spit out through this uh, dropper and everything floats into there underneath. There's a chest underneath that water hopper, um, something. And this is a um, new project, it's still not really working as I don't have enough um, enough of a gunpowder to make more TNT so it can drop and explode. This entire wood is supposed to be pushed. That's um, yeah. I'll put one more sapling. And eventually when the tree is growing, it's being pushed. And then when it's all pushed all the way to over there, it's the entire wall is pushed and uh, basically it's gonna form here a block of wood and the TNT fall, explode all and everything gonna be spinned and collected into those chests there. So that's that's that and uh, yeah, I'm still working on gathering more uh, bone meal so it can fire up and bone meal this wood. Hopefully it's coming anytime soon. Come on. Oh, that was it. This one been pushed. Bone meal is not consumed anymore until I plant another one of them. And that it happens. Um, let's see if I can capture that here. Come on. It's, it's always when you try to capture it, it's not happening. That's the bone meal that's being dispensed into this. Come on. Oh, that's it. And sapling. Don't need you, Mr. Stick. Just be wary not to fall in there. Oh, there's another. That's happened. Another one. Oh! That was, that was quick, yeah. So eventually I need more bone meal. So I'm currently on a quest of, of making 
um, automatic bone meal farm. How much is there left? Still filling up. Yeah. Bone meal is going quickly through here. But then wood is coming as well. And um, this was initially just a little starter base. There's like a chest monsters. All the chest was here. This is my nether stuff and my valuables. There's still 50 diamonds there. A bit of nether scrap and nether debris. Ancient debris. So that's there. Um, so yeah, those are elevators here. And uh, this is my current bone meal farm. This is what I make. Just gonna drop that real quickly. Drop that right here. Off you go. So yeah, so this is gonna be my main house. This is like basement. Excuse me, the basement, and that's gonna be a house on top, yeah? So let's come in, this is not like my main door, but eventually gonna be somewhere higher up there, the main door. And this is my main storage, which is all categories, so it is, um, it is all logs, and here all planks, eventually planks, and what did they say? Oh, sorry, this one's only stone. All sorted as moss, more chests underneath there. And this is where you put all types of stone, all rare stones or more valuable stones, including iron blocks, which I have too much. I'll show you later um, where I get them from. Low and gold. And yeah, and this is all the everything that's coming from these planks, mangrove planks. And this is everything else that's out of woods or wood planks that's not currently in this sorting row. Uh, yeah, anyway, and this is gonna be like main elevators. Uh, did I show you that? Yeah, this is where you load up, put it. So I'm eventually gonna have to bring what's underneath that chest, bring it and put it maybe here. Yeah, um, looks like it's a sleeping thing. So let me just real quickly spend the night. So, um, Next day, next thing. So this is my like main elevator room. And even you know me, I'm into fishing, uh, gathering my levels and everything else. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. I just here yeah, manually. If I manage to drop. So this is my fishing farm. I'm in here, do the fishing. Everything's being collected and sent down. Right? And. Uh, this is coming up, and this is the way to go down. And here's well, like um, coming up. That's gonna be the main lore. I already lay out um, how it's gonna be where, where the rooms are gonna be going, and then just gonna drop down. Uh, yeah, you you've seen this. This is uh, my iron farm, uh, which I gathered villages from there. Um, calculated exactly. Um, it has to be more than 100 blocks away, so this is, and here also from all my, whatever I have, tools and everything also was 100 blocks away, and then eventually I put up more, but all those villages over there, they have their own working stations already, so they're fine, they're fine. Uh, it took me time to bring uh, a couple of villages and then set up a temporary uh, villager breeding farm, breeding station, and populated all there is totally... 30 villages, I believe it's 30. Uh, if you can count the beds, that's gonna be the amount of villages I have there. So it produces up to three golems at a time. Uh, quite efficient. Running um, too much of uh, iron uh, already, as you can see. So I'm gonna building everything out of iron. So now stand here, dropped. Boom. This is like a deep basement. So this is more stuff that's being sorted. Um, all the vegetables that I showed you before, those farms there, uh, sorts out everything automatically when it's over full, everything goes into the uh, composting and into bone meal, that's a little bit more. So here's the way to walk through, if you need a hoe, you take a hoe, this too is for farms for melon and uh, watermelon and one what and pumpkin. So, and these are those farms where you can click a button, flush everything down, uh, and, and this is the way to, like, drop here. 
then you can walk without tramping. If you fall down, you can tramp, uh, stamp those veggies, right? And then you just close it if you want to flood only this and the water not to go to another farm. Also my nether ward farm, which is still growing. Oh yeah, by the way, I can show you the sheep. Hey! Looks like uh, we might be out of shears. Yeah, uh, that's why they are still fully wooled. Um, yeah, I can turn those off. That's uh, like mine cards back. Going, picking up the wool and dropping it into here and then being sent underneath this road. And then just boom, went up that way over there and it's been sorted all wool on its color so pretty much pretty much a lot um of each uh yeah that's a little bit uh, uh this is when it's over full and it comes here to any of the wool and then this light lights up when it's something in this chest i can quickly show i put these two sticks and it's light up yeah so i know when it's, something is over full and not being sorted this comes here that's my lava pit but it's just burning and this is where you put it anything you put in here like these two sticks they're being thrown out and that's where they come here and burn yep my automatic smelter or cooking everything whatever and that's where i burn well fishing rods and a bunch of coal uh disenchanting enchanting and animals Yay! And this is, um, I'm gonna show in a second what are those. Um, so if you come up here, so this little bit, this is not fully made up, it's supposed to be like a room as well. That's the fishing farm, and everything been dropped right here into these storages. And then I open here, well, this is all fish only, but if you've got any books, especially enchanted books, you put them here. And all of them books go sorted down under and anything that's disenchantable like uh, bows and fishing rods just goes there is an, uh, another um, another things uh, that I just collected again I don't know why uh, by the way these also uh, bowls uh, bowls you can also burn them use as a fuel if you're low on coal yeah and then just, just drop in here and this is where all the books come in so this is all full of books eventually I'm gonna make up a room that way where each book gonna be sorted by its own enchantment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is where it's all these uh, bows and fishing rods that are good for disenchanting so basically you come in here fill up your inventory of all of this stuff you walk down here and you just disenchant everything and then just throw them to be destroyed or if it's a uh, like if it's bow you can use it as a fool as well sorry not bow fishing rods bows you can use it um, to make uh, to make all of them uh, what's that dispensers not droppers dispensers yeah that's right and this is um i haven't seen um showing this one so here this thing i'm just gonna hop up a little bit you see this is uh, that there's dripstone with the draining uh, and uh, this is clay that's coming and that's a dirt so basically this one is full of water bottles which I get also from this farm which is basically if you find water bottle dropped it there right in that chest and then basically here is where you stand and put on uh, dirt. Uh, so I don't have any dirt right now. I'm just gonna take this one for a second. And this dirt gonna be automatically pushed. And when it's pushed, that's water splashing that dirt, making it into mud. And the mud comes here, and all when it reaches here, it's been pushed all the way that way. And then it's dripped from the mud. Uh, water is dripping down, and it becomes clay. Yeah, I'm using clay. I want to collect a lot of uh, clay to make more uh, red bricks or oh, I could use mud um, well yeah later this is this is what's still uh, in progress um, moving on so this is the road that leads towards my villager farms um, not villager how's that 
So here I show, this was a setup where I used uh, villager breeding. They were breeding up here. Babies come down. When they grow up, they transfer into this bit. And from here was minecart coming and picking them up and distributing whenever they, wherever they need to be. Right. And this was the main entrance. Then I dug down to come straight away to the storage. Again, so yeah, this is uh, currently full of um, rose poppies. And this is full of iron. All of it. All of it. So I'm overfull. And this one, oops, yeah. If this one is overfull, it's overfull. So basically, I'm gonna just pick up more of them poppies. When, when this all full, it's mean like there's not much left. And this is where they, where they die. Including, uh, including kitties. Everything flows here, and there's a hop underneath this campfire. If the cat fell down, it's, it just comes down here and suffocates on a fire. And these are my villagers. Hmm. This is where I have to put a zombie. Then I can send it and bite each villager. Um, if you can see that they have their butts exposed, the zombie gonna bite in the butt or in the heel of each villager or any villager, convert them into uh, into a zombie villager. Then I will have here. I don't have even yet. I also don't have a hot zombie. Yeah, not don't have a zombie. So I don't have uh, golden apples and uh, weakness potions. So I just throw them cure them and they're gonna drop their prices as currently I have not traded with them uh, maybe very few of them that that been traded yeah and they quite expensive as of now so this is gonna be a great XP farm as well currently it's just it's just iron um, iron farm and a lot of it and poppies which then I come here convert them into bone meal I am going to need um, not this here, this, this here. Yep, you keep working on. So that's that, and eventually, this is also um, from a very, very deep under, all the way to the bedrock. Um, just like gonna zoom in if I can. If I can, there you go, all the way to the bedrock, and there's nothing more. I just bunch of uh, branch mining until I can find um, some diamonds or, or stuff like that, right? And uh, this is falling from all the way up. This is going, as you see, this one is just coming to this floor, and and uh, another one it just goes slightly higher. And comes all the way on a on a main floor, which is uh, getting dark now. I'm just gonna drop my bed soon, as this is on a survival uh, hard, so I don't want anyone to just attack or come to explode my place. As there's currently some bits that are open, like here and here, working in progress. Uh, very low on sand. Um, Actually, zero sand except this one here and uh, yeah so this is my place uh, did I miss anything to show uh, yeah these are my vegetables um, oh yeah cactus farms as well as all sort of vegetables including those automatic it used to be just here manual a pumpkin and watermelon it's automatic uh, tree farms. Uh, yeah, anything else is missing. Um, there's also where I get the leather and chicken. Oh, there are a bunch of eggs there. Yeah, eventually gonna make a chicken automatic uh, roast chicken uh, farm and maybe a cow farm. That must be full there. Let me just quickly hop down. Make sure I'm not dying now. Just use the safe way. I come here walk this way, click this button, drop down, and just walk my way out. Oh, I can just do here. Hey, okay, come on. That's it. Um, hey, you, you can't park there, sir. 
just uh, if I can see the button. There you go. Off you go. And now we collect whatever was in there. Nothing? Well, something. There must be in a hopper. Mm. Yeah. So, well, that's it. And just click it. And off you go. Back over there to unload whatever you have. Uh, it used to be automatic, this one, when it's unloaded, it sends the signal automatically to push the cart back. But then uh, um, an update happened and all my uh, contraptions just did not uh, seem to be working anymore. Yeah, somehow, when I just removed, I was low on redstone and I removed everything I had there. This fence here. Um, yeah. So... That's my little neat setup. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff littered here and there from previous uh, uh, previous jobs, uh, previous mini base that would used to be here. Oh, this one is used for finding uh, ancient debris in the Nether. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's a uh, like Joyce pick. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, and um, yeah, uh, let me know what you think of all of this and where else could I do some improvements. Obviously that needs to be moved uh, where's all the tree farms and make it automatic. That one is still growing, kinda, if you call that grow. Yeah, let me know what you think guys and um, yeah, hopefully uh, all of this uh, makes sense. Um, building a house maybe eventually we'll make it uh, we'll make it on uh, while I'm recording uh, yeah uh, bamboo farm yeah that's need to be improving um, all sorts of things yeah just uh, I'll I'll be hunting for a zombie for that uh, trading to be cheaper and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next one ciao Hello.